on the on the uh, on the news right before I came out here. Let me down the numbers. It's actually spell out fuck you. That's one eight hundred fuck you. That's the number. Uh, it's still out there. Most of these people out here, they filthy, man. They have filthy beasts. They filthy animals. Filthy fucking animals. Actually, animals have more decency than these people. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. I mean, that's actually a scripture in the Bible, in Isaiah 1. You don't see the, you don't see the male lion going around trying to fuck another male lion. Hey, they got, on, they got a website when it says, um, they, they're, they're, they're describing the characteristics of animals and why people are behaving the way they do. Cause they saying that animals like lions fuck each other too. It's an actual website. Yeah, what animals you see that always kill their own kind all the time? Like too many animals do that. Yeah. Shit, they fucking had now unless they made that motherfucking lion and fucking love it. I ain't never seen it. Hey, lions do kill a baby lion. When a lion goes into another Oh yeah, yeah, they another time, he kills all the babies and makes them. There's wild lions roaming on the streets of Columbus. Wait, right now. Oh, here. Right, right. It is, man. It was on the news. They told me they caught one. They killed one. They were going up in the Buckeye Lake. Oh, fuck it. There was a lion running wild. And they made the killer. Oh, they didn't kill it. Oh, they cast it. Oh, right. That dude, that dude, that dude. That dude, that dude. That could have been from there. Because Buckeye Lake in that area is like, there's like a, it's like a 25 mile gap. That's small. Oh yeah, it's small. Any kind of land. Yeah, black leopard. Oh, he had all the floor. Yeah, he had all kinds of cats. They tried to say they caught him, but they didn't catch him. I know they just say that to make people feel good. Yeah, they feel safe. Revelation 22 and 11. Um, he, that is, um, I'm going to start at 10. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecies of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Yeah, because some people, you can't teach some people. Some people, there's nothing you can do with them. Like that, like Loki. That dude Loki that came from here. Yeah, Loki. There wasn't no help for no guy like that, man. So you just, like, like some people, it's not worth your time to even debate them, man. Just go, just leave me alone, man. We do it out of clowning. Yeah. We, you know, that's why we that do it. I thought he was Pharaoh. Yeah, sometimes you get tired of it. It's, because it's not entertaining no more. You can't, you know. Yeah. That's why I assume the, yeah, the Lord going, uh, he's going to get tired. He's going to start killing fools. Yeah. He's already started killing people. Already. Oh, this bitch shit is picking up. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Oh uh, yeah, look at all these filthy people, man. They are all this filth. All these people, none of these people follow the commandments of the Bible. All these women are adulterers. You got faggots everywhere. Everybody's eating pork. The number one food is pork. That's the number one dish people eat is pork. Then the, then the uh, mother and father, they feed the children pork for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's filthy, man. That's the largest, uh, on every menu, that's the largest, largest entree. Oh, that's the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me get his script for real quick. Give me, uh, 2 Maccabees 7 and 1. Now, read that again, bro. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. <laughs> and he that is holy, let him be holy still. Oh, yeah. And behold. Yeah, so somebody's out here doing the work, you know what I'm saying? You let them, you know, let them do the work. Don't get in their way. There's people, people get involved, like, they, they, they have to be a scoffer. They, they, you know what I mean? It's like, it's hard to do it, man. Yeah. Be a fucking complete hey. asshole. Yeah, Billy Cops. What's up, homie? And behold, I come quickly. 
and my reward is with me. So the Lord's reward, that's that destruction. Like he said, when the Lord come back, he tried in a wine press, you know what I'm saying? That means he's going to get blood all over his garment. That's right. His garment's going to be soaked in the blood of two thirds in the heat. To give every man according as his work shall be. Every man according to his own work. So an adulterer's work, what, what, what's the punishment for adultery in the Bible? It's death. That's the punishment, okay? Uh, read that scripture real quick. I'm gonna prove, we're gonna prove some of the filthiness in America. One of the worst things you can do not is adultery, be a faggot, seven and one. But everybody eats pork, that's the main dish in America. The most popular food is uh, pepperoni pizza. You know what I mean? There's a pizza store in every corner. Everybody's eating this pepperoni, they, they feeding their kids pork. You can always smell pork in the air. Yo, read that. that that's filth, man. Because you're supposed, man, you're supposed to get the shit beat out of you for eating pork. It's really good for the death, man. Really good. Actually, because pork smells like Satan. When you fry some bacon, that smells like Satan in the air. You got like spirits rising up the, out the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Read that. Second Maccabees 7 and 1. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken. So these seven brethren is Israelites. Uh, keep going. They was taken. They was taken. They was taken by the Macedonians. Okay. Uh, keep going. And compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. So they was going to be forced to eat swine's flesh. Okay. So keep going. And were tormented with scourges and whips. So they was beating him with whips, hitting him with scourges, well, you know, fucking him up. No fucking swine. And, yeah, that's only a heathen, man. So this is what, yeah, because you ain't supposed to willingly eat swine. You supposed to refuse to eat swine unto death. You should die before you eat it. Keep going. But one of them that spoke first said, "Thus, what wouldst thou ask or learn of us? We are ready to die." He said, "We're ready to die." They said, "We're gonna die before we eat that pork, man." We're going to die before we break one of the commandments of the Most High. Keep going. Rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. So he'd rather die than break one of the laws of our fathers. Keep going. Then the king, being in a rage, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot. But, yep, keep going. Which forthwith, being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spoke first. Yeah, and, so the dude, uh, the Israelite who refused to eat the pork, they, they cut his tongue out with a, with a hot seer, with an iron seer. And to cut off the utmost parts of his body. Yeah, just because he ain't want to eat swine's flesh. And a lot of these women do that too. Like if you got, uh, like my baby's mama, she'll try to feed my kids pork, man. You know what I'm saying? They'll do that. And this wicked ass. Not only can a woman cheat on you, commit adultery, Get your ass for child support. So feed your kid pork too, man. And then it is it's perfectly legal. So into their wickedness. That shit is just wicked as hell, man. It just it just doesn't get no more wicked than that. That's why we know America is not a it's a kingdom of Satan, man. We know this. There's not no doubt in our mind. It's not it's no disputing it. This is not a great nation, okay? This is a filthy nation. Uh, keep going. There's a little more to that. The rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. Now when, now when he was thus made in all his members, he commanded him being yet alive to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. It is going to fry him alive in a big ass frying pan. You know what I mean? Just for not eating pork. You know? And as the vapor of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully. Saying thus, the Lord God looked upon, looked upon us, and in truth hath comfort in us, as Moses in his song, which witness to their faces declared, saying, and he shall be com comforted in his servants. So when the first was dead, after this manner, they brought the second to make him a mocking stock. Oh, that's cool. I mean, that's the point. Did you read it? Oh, you want to read the whole story? Yeah, it's a long story. Okay, keep going. No, no, no. Let me just give the example of these goddamn people are fucking devils, man. They were devils back then. They're going to be devils fucking now. Bro. I mean, it's also proof that, and it also proves you're not supposed to eat no swine. There's no question about it. Okay, there's no debating it. There's no disputing it. 
Okay, that's one of the that's one of the filthiest things you could ever do. And they died before they ate swine. Okay, so that just that further proves the wickedness of you people, man. Y'all walk around eating swine, eating shrimp. And then you wonder why your stomach hurts. You wonder why you're fat and unhealthy. You have a heart attack. Yeah, get you get. And then what? Then when you think about a woman get pregnant, they eat pork while they're pregnant, feeding little fetuses pork. This is evil, man. Fat obese babies. Yeah, you got a little obese babies coming out. Little babies coming out looking like just like their fat ass mom. You actually see fat babies. This is disgusting, man. Yeah, Everybody eating all this pork, man. That's just filthy. Shit to see, too. Boy. That's amazing shit. Because some babies are born so fat, man, you gotta cut them out. Oh, shit. They can't be born no more. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Second Maccabees 7 and, 7 and 6. The Lord God looked upon us and in truth and comfort in us, as Moses in his song was witness to their faces, declared, saying, and he shall be com comforted in his service. So when the first was dead after his manner, after this manner, they brought the second to make him a mocking stock. Yeah, make fun of him. Going. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head. So they didn't peel the skin off his face. That's crazy. So, so this dude rather have his face, of, his skin peeled off his face before he would eat pork. That tells you how serious eating pork is. You really yeah. have that skin pulled off his face and coming up so hot. Yep. Yeah. 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 You know, pork yeah. yeah. He could do more. He could snatch your face off a 10,000 pounds. So, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. my God. That's a hell of a spirit, man. So, you ain't none of these, none of these demons got no excuse for eating pork, man. Keep going. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, they asked him, Will thou eat before that be punished throughout every member of that body? But he answered in his own language and said, No. He said, No, in his own language. He was speaking Hebrew. He said, No. He told you that getting the skin peeled off. He still didn't eat. Wherefore he also received the next torment in order as the former did. And when he was at the last gasp, he said, Thou like a fury takest us out of this present life. But the king of the world shall raise us up who have died for his laws unto every unto everlasting life. After him was the third made a mocking stop. And when he was required, he put out his tongue, and that right soon holding forth his hands manfully, and said, courageous, courageous, and said courageously, these I had from heaven, and for his laws I despised them. And from him I hope to receive them again. And so much that the king and they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage, for that he, for that he nothing regarded the pain. Now when this man was dead also, they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. So when he was ready to die, he said, Thus it is good being put to death by men to look for hope from God to be raised up. Oh yeah, so yeah, he'd rather get put to death so that's why, yeah, that's why you, the scriptures say you're supposed to be a soldier of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? A soldier of your house child. If you're ready to die. Keep going. So when he was ready to die, he said, Thus it is good being put to death by a man. Oh, what you got? You got a trouble? I got a trouble. I'm just going to do Oh, uh, I was, uh, what's that? Oh, uh, okay. I'll read it real quick. And yeah, he got the law in the Leviticus. See, as we know, we can read it. That's, that's a real long one. It yeah, like an hour to read it. But we get the point because even that law on Leviticus. Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be clove footed, yet he chewed not the cud, he is unclean to you. So, yeah, according to the Holy Bible, you're not supposed to eat swine. According to 
according to the Holy Bible, you're not supposed to eat pigs. You're not supposed to eat pepperoni. You're not supposed to eat bacon. That's in the Bible. Okay, that's not in the Quran. That's in the Bible. Okay, the Quran is a made up faggot shit. Made up by the eating. Well, it's actually made up by uh, the Catholic Church, actually. Yeah, because people always say, y'all don't eat pork, we all Muslims. No, y'all stupid as hell. That's, that's what it is. No, no, that's why y'all celebrate Christmas. Talking about you a Christian, you celebrate Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You got a big honey baked ham on Christmas and Easter. You got the honey baked ham with the all the juices and the mm, you sitting there and they put pineapples on it. Oh, yeah, for yeah, like yeah, two yeah. days straight. Like what the hell is pineapple? They got like an altar. It's a, you eating pig's ass. I mean, not only you eating a pig, but you wanna eat a pig's ass. How nasty is that? Y'all some heathens, man. Y'all some goddamn heathens. Then you know what that uh don't have a motherfucking pig. Like those rich motherfuckers have the pig with the apple in its mouth. Yeah, this is nasty, yeah. man. Oh, they, they, they eat the whole pig right on. They take a pig, stick a big stick to it, put it right on the fire and cook it. Yeah, then they put the apple. They got the hog roast. And then they act like something's wrong with you if you don't want to eat it. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, what's, wrong, what's wrong with you? Exactly. You ain't eating that shit. And then they eat shrimp, too. That's it. We got a little bit of the last part. Break every law in the Bible. Uh, yeah, that's what an asshole, right? Shit like that. He, he had this shit built so it could do that. Yeah, why that shit ain't cute. That's not cool. He has some big ass six foot mufflers on it. That probably make their pussy fly break. You ain't hear no good? Yeah. You didn't hear that shit? This dude, like. What the fuck is that? Listen. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. And read it from the top again. And the swine, though he divided the hoof. This is in the Bible. The Bible says don't eat swine, don't eat pigs. You know that? Read that. And he be clothed footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. The pork is unclean. He can't eat bacon is unclean. So if you've been eating bacon, if you've been eating ham, what's a pork chop, you are unclean. You are right now, you are physically, you are unclean. You are, you're worse than a heathen, man. Only, only heathens eat pork. The Lord's people ain't supposed to be eating no pork. Yeah, then they eat chillings. But hold up, chillings, what's that, the pig intestines? That's where the shit, that's the shit tube. Y'all eating shit tubes, man. And then, oh, y'all make fun of people that eat chitlins, but y'all still eat sausages. And sausages is just, is just uh, pork meat stuffed inside the pig intestine. Yeah, that's exactly. He's like, well, what's that little paper on there? That's pig intestine, that's the shit too, man. Y'all got some nasty heathens out here, man. Y'all need to put the, uh, y'all gonna get put to death. All you people that ain't right, y'all gonna get put to death. Some guys gonna kill you, they gonna destroy you. And they got another cover for and then, then they got that new saying, they say we going ham. I'm about to go ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that sounds like something evil. Yeah. They got a, everything they do is based around pork, man. Yeah. Disgusting. Oh, uh, that was the point. Hey, read more of it. Read more of the law. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Keep going. Then shall ye eat of all that are in the water. These, these shall ye eat. This is what you're allowed to eat out of water. Of all that are in the waters, whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Yeah, so you you so if you catch something out the ocean, out the rivers or something, if you don't have skins and fells, you're not allowed to eat. I ain't say that. I'm back. If you don't have if you don't have fins and scales, I said if it don't have skin. 
If it don't have fins and scales, you can't eat it. That means you can't eat shrimp. Okay. But who the fuck want to eat shrimp? That just looks nasty. And then a lobster look like a little alien creature. Some Actually, more oysters. That's nasty, man. That's nasty. All that shit's nasty. And then the squid. These, these nasty ass women tell you these hoes is nasty and they're not in their right state of mind. They love eating lobster. Who in their right mind want to eat some, some crab legs? It looks like it looks like a little like an alien creature with that antennas. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to touch one, let alone eat it. That's a foul spirit. That's a demon. That's the first that fucking place this dumbass nigga is playing. Think that you're going to be big. They go to red fucking lobster. Yeah. Or we'll go to the Japanese restaurant. They get the steak with a lobster tail. What about these fools to eat the crawfish? Yep. That's even nastier. That, those things, is, if I see a crawfish, I, I, I get scared. Like, I, I ain't touch that. Yeah, we doing it big, son. It's just like lobster. They eat it. They see it and they get. What's up, man? What's up, man? That was your boy. That was other dude too. He, he, he worked for the CIA. He probably does have a job. He probably does. He probably does. Because a lot of them motherfuckers do go to school. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to further their career. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to go to school to be a, in the FBI. Yeah. You got to go to school for that. To be an officer in the military, you have to go to college. You want to be a captain, a lieutenant, whatever, general. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 You say no disrespect. That's why I think you're a I understand Jake is fucking stupid, man. Hard as man. Hard as hell. A lot of these heathens got more sense than these Jake's out there. Hey, there's a, there's a scripture that says the heathens keep the law. You know? That's the dance because they try like them Samaritans. Mm -hmm. They try to be some false flag of Israelites. Yep, yep, yep. That pisses me off right there. Some fucking heathens. Like the Israelites on that night here. Well, I mean, that's good. They shouldn't eat pork. Shit. Nobody should eat that shit. Lord's people don't eat the law, but the heathens do. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm saying. I'm fucking like, come on, man. I heard Nick Yon, you, his UN speak, talking about something else. We go back four or five thousand years to the line of Abraham. They said they're the most Isaac. ancient people on earth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you an Ishmaelite? No, no. They're, they're the eight Israel. They try to say that they're the oldest Nick race Yon. on earth here, bro. Oh, yeah. They said, well, yeah, we're the most ancient of peoples. I am this fucking team. Like, they was just so special. Am, you know, am, am is more fucking more ancient than his ass. Hey, man, the famous. <laughs> yeah, man, Yahoo was talking all kind of shit. Well, uh, he so can pop this shit off. He's man. pretty much begging the whole world to go bl blow up Iran. Like, so that's this. why he's going to do That's why there's anger. And their frustration is going to make them do it alone, man. Because he already said they're going to do it alone. The only people that was in there clapping was white people. Mm -hmm. That was it. Oh, yeah. Well, I was just thinking, though, because America got the spirit, like, the smell of swine's flesh on it. It's like, that's what you compare it to, man. You, you, care, you compare America to, like, a, uh, like a, like a filthy... Pieces of rotten swine's flesh. Yeah, this is yeah, this is worse. This is scary. This is awful. You know, America's gonna be destroyed. God's gonna destroy America by fire. All these faggots gonna be destroyed. Let me get this. Let me get this because we talk about the law. This is Psalms. Psalms 119 and 97. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Yeah, you sure you're supposed to meditate on the law. And this is in the book of Psalms. You got all these old people, they love to talk about the Psalms. I love David. You know what I mean? David, I really I really feel a connection with David. Sure you know is this the only church? That's the only book of church? Yeah, the Psalms of the yeah. Thank you, Tad. They put you the shit out of John. All through the Psalms, though, they tell you you gotta meditate on the law. Speaking the about precept. the law, you heard um, Nate Satan's um, camp uh, butchering um, um, Ezekiel, the fifth chapter. Five one, talking about you can use razors to trim up your shit, trim up your hair and stuff like that. Oh, that was that was some weird shit the most I did at Ezekiel, though. And that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that was some weird shit. Yeah, and he, it's kind of funny. Did he make any shit, too? He's supposed to eat some yeah, shit? Yeah, I think so. so I guess we all got it. Oh, we all gotta eat shit now, right? What? We eat. That's what we eat. Yeah, we gotta eat shit. That's 
a beat anyway. I mean, if we, if we can do that, it means we can eat doo doo pies. <laughs> we can. <laughs> yeah, that's some tripped out shit, man. So they making the most high of it. A liar, or, you know, a hypocrite. Or, yeah, they're trying to make the most high sound like he's, um, uh, uh, he's uh, I forgot the word, but anyway, you say one thing. Uh, yeah, he's saying he's a liar, yeah. yeah. He's trying to say the most high, double mind. But there's a video that they're camp they actually put the video up like they teach us some fire, man. Man, there's, there's a spot, hold up. There's even a spot in the book of Leviticus where it says that the Levi priests, they they, they shave their heads too. Yeah. So that has some that, that's some some special ritual the most high put me through when we do something like that. Right. right. And we ain't even doing that no more. The most high actually was going to these men. The most high actually was talking to the prophets. Or send an angel to the prophet. Mm. Okay, they know y'all got an angel sent to you. You know what I mean? Right. Satan was sent. To oh yeah, you. angel. Yeah, yeah they yeah, probably do got the spirit. An evil spirit, as most is. What's the with uh? uh as most is. Yeah. 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 Hey, that dude, that's a heavy demon. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's your, but he kind of looks like Asmodeus. You know what I'm saying? That's who that is. The thing kind of looks like him. It's kind of when you think about him in your mind. He looks like, he do look like yeah, an evil yeah, spirit. Yeah, yeah, he sure do. An evil spirit, you know? He like, they like your dude off Aladdin. Yeah, oh, oh, oh you're doing the thing that says like your boy off Aladdin. What's the dude, the bad guy on Aladdin? Yeah, oh, yeah. Jafar, yeah. that's Jafar. <laughs> He looks just like you. Oh, he got the same spirit. Yeah, yeah. And Daryl looked at you That's like you were stupid because you didn't know that. Oh, I, <laughs> I forgot, man. I got to try to remember. We'll be cool. We should start doing that. Too. That's Jafar, videos. bro. Just start adding these videos back. Add people on like you right now. Oh, maybe I'll put do that. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll start adding it. Yeah. 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 Maybe I'll do that. Make up and put him that right next to me. I'll be on that. I'll go ahead. Yeah, and Nathaniel 7 looks like Jafar, man. I'm Aladdin. He got the same outfit and everything. <laughs> hey, we do. He sure do. Yeah. He sure do. Okay. Wonder Woman wristband. I'm going to show y'all something. Yeah, they be having. Uh, this is y'all's Jesus right here. Y'all worship this Jesus right here? You know, that, you know that's the devil right there? Yeah. Huh? That's all. They got that child porn in there. Yeah, they watch the child porn. That's most of these people into that now. They want to sit. They like to the kill baby kids. They like they, they like to the, the snatch little black kids from the neighborhood. And they take them back to their house. Oh yeah, they, yeah. They, they hook hook uh, they electrocute them and torture them. They fuck them in the ass. Mm. They do all kind of shit. Shit on them. They slice them up. Yeah, they do. They put little kids in cages and they they starve them or rape them. They be sitting in the mail, the little post, the flyer, the post flyers. Have you seen me? Yeah. <laughs> then it got snatched up. Then them Jews, them, them fake Jews, those devils, the Edomites, they'll take uh, they'll take the little children, the little Israelite children, they snatch off the streets. Then they take them and they take their blood and put it in their Passover bread. Mm. So when they eat the Passover, they got little, they got Israelite blood in them. They they cannibals. He saw as a cannibal. He liked to eat raw meat, man. He's, na he's nasty, man. He's real nasty. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, they probably eat little Israelites. Kids. They eat them. They probably keep them alive while they eat them, too. Chop a little piece off and eat them and torture them. They do shit like that. Yeah. It's like Hannibal Lecter. He was eating the dude's brain while he's still alive. Did he do that? They, they, I mean, that's... That's in the movies, but they got the movie, they got that idea from something. Oh, where they have to, they have to. They know these mad signs. Like hostile. Like hostile. Yeah, hostile. Yeah, hostile. Yeah, yeah. Hostile. yeah. yeah. yeah the dude, Eli Roth, the so-called Jew. So only a so-called Jew will make a sick fucking movie like that. Mm. See, them, them damn the devils, what they, do. they control Hollywood and they make the most evil, most sick and twisted, most demonic movies you've ever seen. All the movies is about killing and chopping people up and and doing nasty sick shit. The best movies you gonna make is gonna be something you do like to. Yeah, 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 right. They can only do what they know. And that movie is for they put these movies to get a certain audience attention. And they, they, you know, they, they put that vibration of death on everybody. So that's why everybody loves that shit. They cheer for death, they cheer for fact. Yeah, yeah, keep the commandments will make you wiser than your enemies. 
That makes sense because the sandwich is pussy. Like if you don't eat pork, guess what? You you ain't gonna get that high blood pressure. The pork can kill you. You can have a heart attack eating that shit. All that grease clogging up your arteries. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Women eat pork and makes their pussy stink. You know what I'm saying? Bitches get fat as hell eating that shit. Yeah. They stink. They do. They stink. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah, like adultery. You commit adultery. You gonna fuck someone's wife, you get killed for that, man. If they if somebody do your ass like OJ. You know? Has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. Yeah, he, yeah. I have more understanding than all my teachers. Yeah, our commandments are always with us. So, like when we go to some, we're going to a party, and then they eat pork, or they they they're having a Christmas party. Man, you don't be getting up in that Christmas spirit with people and going out and taking your kids trick-or-treating. Hey, here it is. We got Halloween coming up. And all you stupid-ass people, you're going to send your children out and they're going to get trick-or-treat candy from homosexuals. And then the homosexuals are sticking the candy up their rectum. And then they're putting sperm on the candy, feeding your kids sperm, razor blades in it. Your children are going to eat some razor blades. Because half the people are faggots. So what do you think a faggot is doing to some candy? They're sticking it in their ass. They, they go shit on they they do all kinds of they Especially jacking up. They know we got AIDS or something. Yeah, you know, put get some AIDS candy. Yeah. They do shit like that. Some got her some herpes candy, some gonorrhea candy. And then these bitches, they look at you like you stupid if you don't take your children out to trick or treat. And then that's why y'all gonna eat on chew on a razor blade. You know, you know, they put some acid, they might put some LSD up in a Tootsie Roll. And have your little child bugging out on a trip. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Most like burn them up soon. You can burn them up soon. I've heard of people doing that too. They put drugs in the candy. Hmm. Like, wow, that was the best Halloween ever. You have no food or candy. It's fucking faggots. You got all these damn devil worshippers and faggots walking around. That's why the Lord gonna put them all to death. Oh, right, go ahead. What you got? There's more to death. Go ahead. Psalms 119 and 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies or my meditation. Keep going. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. That's how our forefathers didn't keep the precepts. That's why we got fucked up. That's why we got put into slavery. That's why we living in America is a punishment. Keep going. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. Yeah, so every, that means you're keeping the law, man to your best of your ability. You're doing your best to not be like a heathen. Keep going. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. Keep going. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yeah, so this Bible tastes sweet. Okay, it's a, it's a uh, what does it have? Like when, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the priest made a sacrifice and sent up a, a sweet, a sweet savior. Sweet savior, yeah. It, it is, this, the truth is a sweet savior. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a right. it's savory. Right. Keep going. Yay, sweeter than honey to my mouth. And this we throwing this tooth out. Yeah. Through thy precepts, I can understand it. Therefore, I hate every false way. And we hate every false way. So when you say it's okay to be a faggot, that's a false way. And we hate, oh, this proves what you people try to say we're not allowed to hate nobody. The Bible, yeah. We hate right now. The Bible said we hate every false way. Let's read that scripture number so I can memorize it. Psalms 119 and uh, 100. 119 and 100. 100. So, yeah, so, so eating pork is a false way. That goes against the Bible. Okay, being a faggot, that's false. That's totally false. Women being preachers, that's totally false. Women being any kind of leader, period, is false. You ain't supposed to have women in any kind of leadership position whatsoever. Women are property. They supposed to be put in the house, locked up, with the kids, in a safe place. You know what I mean? Go ahead. That word is a lamp onto my feet. Oh, the word is a lamp onto our feet. Keep going. And a light onto my path. That's a bad scripture. Yeah, I like it. A light onto my path. Oh yeah, that song's one I think. I know that. I have sworn, and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto my word. 
afflicted very much. Yeah, we are afflicted very, very much. Yeah. Oh yeah, so people. Shit, have, that's all conversation all the time, ain't all it? The time. All the time. It's all afflictions. Shit, if it ain't something inside you, your body all fucked up. They the even two thirds are getting afflicted too, but they still. They still they numb still to it. They numb to it. Yeah, they got they're numb. They got that numb Yeah, they, 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 they looking for the recovery. When they proud. They really think they can. They can do something. They recover. They're like, no, no, no. They did always get worse before this better. Right. No, 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 not this time around. This is it's gonna get so bad before it get better in the kingdom. It's gonna get worse. Then extremely bad. Right here, right here, real Israel. That's your boy. You're a heathen. You're a heathen. You're a fucking heathen. He look like a homosexual. Yeah. This titty cap on. Yeah, he's right, wearing that right. itty bitty hat. What is that? Man? I don't know what the fuck. Somebody wipe their ass with. They probably do wipe their ass with. You know, that's how I stick it on their head. The shit. That's that dude we talked to them. Yeah. yeah. We talked to him. Yeah, yeah, that's the one we talked to. We talked to like four of them, five of them. That's yeah, the that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. Is it? Yeah. That is really. Fuck, man. I thought we was gonna get a clown on the hill. Look like they look alike. They resemble. They, they got do. a resemblance. They have been breeding for a hundred years. They got a strong resemblance. They in for They dirty. Your skin looks like a an albino hole. Psalms one eighteen and ten. All nations can pass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. All uh, right, read that again. So the Lord going to destroy all you need. The Lord is bringing death and destruction. Psalms 118 and 10. All nations can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. That's, a, that's beautiful. And the Bible says the Lord is a man of war. Every, every battle the Israelites ever won, the Most High was with them. I mean, he was actually with them, actually there with them. If he wasn't there with it, he'd send it in the spirit, he sent an angel. And the key word, that key is they, they was calling out to his real name. Yep. His name. Remember when, uh, uh, what didn't the Most High helped out Hezekiah, sent an angel down and killed the whole, uh, he killed the, what, the Syrians, blew their asses up. <laughs> Just like in the Maccabees, the Most High sent an angel down to help them out. Yeah, there's the most battle in there. Slaughter. Well, I read that again. That's a bad script. 118, Psalms 118 and 10. All nations can pass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They can pass me about. Yay. They can pass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. What's well, the name of the What's the name of the Lord? The name of the Lord is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. If you, if you ain't you caught, it's clear. Because when, when you look it up in the Hebrew, it don't say in the name of the Lord, I shall destroy them. Man, they would be calling Jesus! When you, Jesus! When you, when, you, got when you read that in the Hebrew, it says, it says in, in the name of Yahweh, I will destroy them. It don't say Lord. Okay? Because there's no word Lord in Hebrew. That's an English word. But when you look that up, every time you see the word Lord in all capital letters in the Bible, you look it up in Hebrew, it says Yahweh. So that says in the name of Yahweh, I will destroy them. Uh, uh, there's more to that? They can pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Keep going. What's up, Zim? Just like you two. Sure, he'll probably is here. Gotta beat his ass. We get a reward. You got more to that? Oh, that's a. I'll get whatever. Oh, what you got? Yeah, there's still more to it. You can read it all. It's like all good. Psalms 119 and 106. I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Except I beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. So y'all ain't trying to learn the Lord's judgments. They not out here with a bunch of faggots and freaks. A bunch of dumb ass bitches. That's all you got out here. A bunch of dumb, stupid ass people. Only thing they know about is football and movies and actors. They they can tell you every actor. They can tell you every football player, every running back. They can't they don't know any scriptures. 
I know something funny going on in sports now, folks. They got that devil Eli Manning looking like he the baddest quarterback ever since. Uh, Peyton Manning? Yeah. That's a scrub. Oh, no. Eli yeah. doing shitty as fuck. The, the NFL set us yeah, all fake. His brother. Peyton. Yeah. That's some fake ass shit, man. The NFL is all fake. That's some fake we, shit. We was watching the game between the Raiders. We was watching the Raiders and, uh, against Peyton Manning and the Broncos. That shit is fake, bro. That shit is fake. Because uh, uh, Terrell Pryor came out and threw a nice pass to the receiver. And it was perfect completion. No, <laughs> no defensive back was near him nowhere. Right, he right. went untouched. Right. Did, he didn't touch nobody and nobody touched him. They said offensive pass interference. That's crazy. Oh, that's the best. And it was a nice completion, like four They'll yards. Never call that. And they called it back. They all oh, man, it's all fake. It's all fake. The man. NFL is all fake. Yeah. That They'll shit never is call offensive all offensive pass interference. They did on like twice on Terrell prior to that I'd game. I'd rather watch wrestling, bro. I'd rather, that's just wrestling. Better better off watching wrestling. Yeah. At least yeah. you know that shit's fake. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't just like when I was a little kid, when I was watching Hulk Hogan, Macho Man. You was never gonna tell me that shit was fake. I would have never believed you. That, that's, that, I, that, that's when I was a child. But these people, they got the mind of a child. So you tell them the NFL is fake, they'll never believe you. They they stuck in a fantasy like dream state. Yeah, I was watching some videos the other day of some wrestling man. These people are so fucking stupid. They caused a riot, a real riot over some wrestling. Over some wrestling. Over who won or lost? Yeah. A real, it was a, they got there. I was why it was the funniest was shit I've seen. This old. This old shit. Oh, that old shit's the best shit. Shit, someone just got stabbed at a Dodgers and uh, Padres game or good. Giants game. He got killed. That's good. Now all the fo all the football games is fixed, bro. They, they make billions and billions of dollars off gambling money. Cause all, they, they make more money off of gambling than they do off ticket sales and merchandise. So all the NFL is all set up. It's all fake, all man. Fake it's, all, it's all fake as fuck. Man, they've been getting caught. The, the NFL, uh, the NBA, excuse me, the basketball, NBA referee, Tim Donahue. Remember him? Yeah. Tim Donahue. Was that his name? Yeah. Donahue. Donahue. Hey, whatever the fuck his name is. He got he got caught uh, cheating in the game. He's confessing it too. And he confessed. And now he's back in the league. It's not even a secret. He got kicked out for like a year and then he got to come back. So I mean, it's not even I mean you said when there was there that big controversy in that Jets game, was that last year? Was that a Jets game? Um, or one of them games, I can't remember. I don't even watch football. But there's always controversy, the bad calls, people always saying kill the ref. How come everybody yeah. was killed the ref? They killed the ref overseas. Because they control the soccer game. <laughs> and there's a book called The Fixes In. This dude's real famous dude. He talks about that. He'd he be on Alex Jones and shit talking about how all the all the sports games are fixed. Hey, y'all know where Alex Jones was now? Yeah, what? Oh, man, get out of here with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I done yeah. heard that before. Yeah, because I went to the videos. It is him. Oh, man. The whole videos. It's him. I don't know about that one. Oh, it's tripping, man. That's some bugged out shit, man. Let me read this. Yeah, I watched watch this video. Alec Jones even talks about it. Yeah, he makes it. I don't know, man. That'd be crazy. I, I, I don't know. Ecclesiastics uh, 6 and 37. Oh, it, yeah, this one dude said that Mark Dice was River Phoenix. Yeah, they, wow. get, they get carried away with shit, though. Yeah, so, they should have yeah. a lot, yeah. 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 River Phoenix been this since 92. Oh, they said, nah, this fuck was crazy. Yeah. I watched all the conspiracy shit. Yeah. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish uh, thine heart and give thee wisdom at thy own. Ain't nobody heart. keeping the commandments in America, okay? It, it's legal to break all Ten Commandments. Well, you actually, you can kill somebody. Actually, you kill people. That's legal, too. I mean, as long as you're wearing a uniform, you can kill everybody you want. Oh, is that right? You, yeah, you can legally kill people. There's a couple of uh, cases like that. Like, you know, that you hear about. A couple? Shit. There's millions. millions yeah. <laughs> and, like, you can actually kill people before they're even born. You can kill a motherfucker before you even come out this pussy. So, I mean, that's how dangerous it is. It's so dangerous, you can possibly... You, you get killed while you're still in your mother's womb. And it's lucky we even got born. Yeah. All these women that had countless abortions, they just hacking little babies up in pieces. <laughs> inside their bodies. Yeah, inside their body. Kill. Oh, because it's the law that you can't kill it after it comes out the womb. You have to kill it while it's still in the womb. Woman. Like that makes it any different. 
That doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, so it's just, we, but yeah, like we always say too, when a woman commit adultery, she she's supposed to get put to death. But she get child support, section eight, and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? She be headed to PTA too at the same time. Yeah, there was a guy that uh, there was a guy today at work that uh, told me about how this woman he came home from work just had all his shit packed up and gone, took the kids, then filed for child support. And then a woman be like, yeah. She's a great independent woman, you know. She done overcame so much. She's so strong. Here it is. She's an adulteress. Done committed adultery countless times. Bitches are eating pork. Ain't keeping her. She's just wicked as hell, man. That's why, man, when the time comes, see, the Lord gonna give us that power. And we're we gonna terrorize the world, man. It's gonna be terror season on these bitches. That's why we coming for a lot of you bitches, too, man. When the Lord gives us that power, it's over for you. We got some sick twisted shit in mind too. Oh yeah, we gonna get real clear. Yeah, the Lord. Anyway, it said meditate terror. I was about to say the same thing. The scripture said meditate terror. So that means we're gonna think and plot on how we gonna fuck you up. Yep. We gonna get creative. Like we're real creative. Be like, hey, hey, give me the white house and fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Here you go, check this out. Jeremiah 51 and 18, they are vanity. The works of error in the time of their visit, in the time of their visitation, they shall be they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. So yeah, Israel is the, the inheritance of the Lord. Trail 2 East Main to Bryce Road and Scarborough Boulevard. Hey, that's, hey, that's exactly what his ass gonna be in the fucking bag. Shit hit the bag. He's gonna be in the fucking bag. Yeah, a lot of bag. Yep. They gonna put him in, they gonna bury him. Just throw him down. Burn him. Like, they're making fun of me. I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna die if I can say it back there. Exactly. Just walking by. That's all it takes. They know what we out here doing. Oh yeah, they yeah, people know that. Hey, no secrets. Check, check, that's what them niggas do. They look away at They just praying we don't say something to them. I should start fucking with people more. Thou art my battle axe. Oh. And weapons of war. They're talking to Israel. It said, Thou art my battle axe and my weapon of war. Keep going. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Yeah, just like Joshua broke in the pieces. Joshua broke all them heathens to pieces, man. He just broke their asses down like it wasn't nothing, man. Like it wasn't shit. He destroyed them damn heathens, man. Just, yeah, slaughtered them. Just a beautiful slaughter. Like a perfect, a fake, fake. Fatality. Fatality. Flawless victory. Flawless, that's what I was looking for. Flawless victory. Right here in the Yeah, just think David. You seen David in battle. That was the most beautiful swordsman. He probably look how graceful. You watching the movies and everything's uh, choreographed. But just think how beautiful David looked. Probably such precision and yeah, life. Yeah, precision. Probably precision. And agility. You know what I'm saying? It, just, it uh, probably looked like he was dancing out there killing people. You know what I mean? It was rhythm. Right. Yeah. Oh, you can you imagine that? When it was coming to dark season Oh, that scripture just said that. That scripture. It just said uh, the mighty man, some, they could throw stones with both hands. And they could shoot bows and arrows Stone. with both hands. Stones. Yeah, cause they could, you, they were so strong they could kill your ass with one rock. Both hands, left hand. That was both, yeah, that was ambidextrous. They could, they could shoot a bow while riding on the horse from the left hand or the right hand. 
That's in what? That's in uh, uh, Chronicles or something. That's been a, that's a mighty man. Yeah, that's a mighty man. That takes skills to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find him. That's bad. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I bring the people, the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Oh, actually, since you, I got a script that really backs it up real good. Hold on. Is there more to that? Uh, let me read something real quick. I'm gonna read something in Revelation and back that up. See, you go to church, man. You ain't gonna find no man with this, that state of mind but you wanna be a mighty man, man. Yep. They, they're gonna say, oh, that's the Old Testament. It was more brutal in those times. Now it's all about love. I can eat, I can eat that now. It's, it's all about love, man. I'm gonna straight for the New Testament say the same thing as the Old Testament. This is uh, Revelation 2. <laughs> In uh, 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my word.